Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run in this week's Nightfall Ordeal, which is the Scarlet Keep. But this is a Master, it is a Flawless, and it is a Platinum. Now, double Nightfall ro rewards are available, but to be fair, who's farming this over and over again solo? It's this, this is a 42 minute run, and this is quite fast for a console run. So, as you can see, or as you might have seen, I'm using a double, double hand cannon and a linear fusion rifle uh, as, my, as my weapons. I'm running a war main build, but the war main build is more so to get health back. Now, I am coupling two mods to really help, which is one is this reactive pulse, where I gain a powerful overshield when I finish, and I've also got healthy finisher on my bond. I've also got uh, spoils of war, and hand cannon and linear fusion rifle finder, and scavenger. I also have arc resist and concussive dampener on. And the Linear Fusion Rifle is from the Season of Dawn. So, just something a little bit different. I have used it in a Nightfall run before. So, when you come in, you just want to run past these first enemies. You don't get any score. You don't get any score here. And there's no point in killing them. So, as I said to start with, it's uh, ironic that this should be the double Nightfall week. I'm hoping next season we get, we get another Nightfall to farm... Of the same elk as maybe even maybe even have it be Lake of Shadows because having these long ass nightfalls to grit to farm is not fun. It's 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 not and I wouldn't say I'm I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan of this nightfall, but it, it's it's not too bad. It it offers a decent challenge. So as you can see we're just we're just taking out enemies, making sure if I can get a war main cell then fine. Uh, but I'm not really playing for war main cells. Not not here. So there's your first champion. I'm just going to take down as many of these little uh, acolytes as I can. Because one of the biggest problems you're going to have here is the fact you don't get your health back. Togetherness is on. Uh, that's going to be a massive problem. So togetherness is on, obviously, unstoppable and barrier. You guys will know what the, the modifiers are because... You can see them on your screen. Uh, togetherness is probably the biggest problem, and obviously, the uh, is it incoming, incoming arc and environmental damage is increased. Just not very good. So as you can, what I'm doing here, I, I'm just gonna get this champion low, and then finish him. You'll see what I mean about you get that powerful overshield. It, it's really gonna help. It helps a lot at the boss. The reason why I decided to couple them was because I, most of my builds are built with the boss in mind. I am looking to be as efficient as I can at the boss because the rest of it you can just take your time and just, you know, mosey through this if you like. Uh, but at the boss, you kind of, you're kind of stuck there. <laughs> I suppose that's the point of it, but... Do you understand? You, there's not much more you can do. The area is enclosed. It's its own. For me, it's a very isolated part of the nightfall. Unlike these areas where you can attack these a number of different ways. When you're in the boss room, it's a very enclosed arena. Kind of is one or two different ways to do it. Now, I don't really do cheeses per se. So, I know that I know that Cheese Forever done a, a cracking video actually where you can stand up on the on the, the top bits and avoid damage but you know I, I like to do things a certain way so when we come into this area I'm gonna try and get rid of the champions as fast as possible and now there's one gone and I almost got my grenade back because a lot long time viewers of the channel will know me and Controverse they were practically having an affair you know I, I am going steady with Controverse I just think that t top tree don't uh, Nova I'm just going to finish this. No, 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 no finisher there. I'm just going to put them down. Uh, Top Tree Nova is is a really good super, but the grenades, man, they are so good. So I didn't bother going with like a a solar subclass. I could have because solar dawn blade. Uh, you can uh, top tree. I think there's a bottom tree. You can basically. I, I've used it in a video before. You can jump up and then hold the dive button to come back down and get your health back I'm operating on for this video I'm, I'm trying to operate on the assumption that I don't really want to get hit tons 
so I'm not going to need constant health uh, back because I'm not going to put myself in too many positions. Obviously, that's not always going to be the case. I am going to get hit, uh, but th that's just the that's just the way it is. So we took out the two champions, and then I got one main cell which helped me clear this area. Now. What we're going to do is we've got these two wizards here. Now most people are going to know when, you, when you've got these wizards. Once you've took the wizards down. And you take the orbs and you take them back down. Each side you're going to get another champion. So the first champion. We're, we're just going to. We're, we're, as you can see there. Breaking the wall main cell gives my health back. When you pick this orb up and you go back down. You're going to have a champion. You're going to have four acolytes as well. On the first section. Second section. The second wizard. You're going to get four acolytes a champion, and a bunch of exploding curse thrall, the exploding thrall. So what we're wanting here is I don't really want to lose the orb, because it's time, it's time wasted, you know. Now the champion here doesn't feel confident enough most of the time to come up to you. So I'm going to break this war mind cell, which should do damage to the champion. And now I'm just going to take him down like this. I'm not going to finish him, I'm just going to kill him. And, and what that does is, uh, it leaves me with my super for the la for the next champion. Now, because of the exploding thrall and all the rest of it, I just I just want to get rid of this guy quickly. So, so when you come into this area, obviously you've got your two champions, you've got acolytes, and then as you'll see here, which I didn't comment on for the other side, when you're going down the sides, each side has a different set of enemies. So you're going to have these thrall that are going to come both sides. The right hand side, which is uh, the right hand side, is the side we just done, is going to have an arc shielded knight, and this side's going to have two acolyte snipers. So be be wary. Don't just run down here. This could be actually uh, be a nightmare scenario for them to have put uh, chaff on as well. <laughs> to be fair, not getting your health back and chaff it sounds like a very bungee thing to do. So we'll take out this wizard. I'm. I'm I'm always a little bit, with the wizards kind of smoke, I'm always a little bit like, can't see through it. So I decided, I was trying to s s save some special, but I decided just just go with it. Obviously, Spoils of War means if I finish a champion, I'm going to get heavy ammo. But with heavy ammo finder on, I'm going to be dropping a fair amount, so I'm not going to be sweating it on heavy. It's more special I'm going to be, even though I've got scavenger and finder on. It's special I'm going to be worried about because Ariana's, is, Ariana's Vow is a very, very, very good weapon. It's good for taking out ads. It's it's the best of both worlds. It's like having a, it's kind of like having a sniper and having an anti-barrier and having a little bit of boss damage. So you'll see here, I'm just going to throw my, my Nova and then I'm, I, was, I was shooting the champion anyway. I did not want that champion to put his shield back up. That works. 99.9% .9 of the time you will see at one point I will do that and then I'll have to disengage because taking too much heat when that happens I'm never really going to be too bothered because if the Nova takes out some enemies then it's worked it's done it's done it's done a job so always remember when you get here with exploding thrall again 99.9% .9 of the time one of the thrall was going to run away don't make the mistake of not going after that thrall. So I'm going to put this grenade down here. You've got some acolytes and you're also going to have some arc shielded knights. So we'll just take out these, not acolytes thrall, sorry. We'll just take out these. There's one of them gone. We'll get our, get our grenade back. Now, these knights are pretty stupid. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. So you can hit them. And then jump over them. Or you can completely miss them with every shot like I just did. <laughs> now you'll see here I wasn't really too bad. I seen he had the gold on his head. And having a healthy, uh, healthy finisher and, uh, and reactive pulse. Meant the minute I went into finishing he couldn't kill me anyway. And now here's my next champion. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to whittle this champion down. I want eventually to encroach this champion the closer you get to him you see now he's got he's got a bead on me he will come to me now that is what you want now he's finishable i'll just duck back in and then finish him which will give my health back it'll give me heavy and oh it's 
So a good day for everyone. So that is this area done. What we're looking for here, and I think I get it pretty quickly, is a war main cell. And if I can hit it, then we break it and we take out a heap of acolytes. Now I can just make it up one side. Don't just run up the centre because there are going to be acolytes up top. Use the side bits for as much kind of cover as you can. Don't never leave yourself open to attack if, you, if, if at all possible. I've thrown a grenade at the back because they all bunched. And... And that is all those ads down. Now what we're going to do is jump down here and activate the next wave of ads. When you activate this, this wave, you're going to get a whole bunch of acolytes. You're going to get two wizards. We're going to try and get rid of the wizards first. It's not always possible. One does run sometimes. But, I mean, just delaying the inevitable. So now we're just going to... Again, I'm not playing too much for war mine sales. That one main cell just dropped behind there, so I'm, I'll just clear out one or two of these and I'm going to make it down. You see them running away. I'm going to make it down to where I can actually shoot the one main cell. And that should clear out some of the acolytes. So there's more acolytes there, so before I go for the wizard, just take out any immediate dangers. And as I say, the wizard's just delaying the inevitable. So, when you once you took out all those enemies and you come so far up, this is another spawn kind of uh, another place where you're you're going to activate a spawn. So what I'm going to do is try and take this champion. And the great thing was I landed my grenade on that champion, which meant the champion then ran away. Uh, the champion ducked. So that centre, where we're shooting now, that centre pillar, that can block you, your kind of view on the champion. So when I threw my grenade, he ducked away, which meant he ducked away from his cover, making it so much easier for me to, to take him down. So use that as, you know, something, something going forward that your grenade, if you're going to hit an enemy with your grenade, sometimes it's worth not actually getting a full on hit. Sometimes it's actually just as what just as well or just as worthwhile to throw it next to the ad so you're still getting that damage but to impede that that uh, ad's ability to go a certain way because 90% of the time he won't duck into your grenade you'll duck the opposite way so once you've took all those down and you see I got an, before this war mine I did get another war mine cell which cleared a heap of the ads then you've got to take be really careful there are two shriekers in this strike, they just, it's, 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 it is punishment, is what it is, be, be very careful, you can see when I, I always try and attack these, cell, these, uh, these shriekers from cover, because you just can't withstand their attacks, and because on my chest plate we went with arc resist for the boss, and the champions really, uh, we've got nothing to kind of protect us from void or solar, we have concussive dampener, which will help us withstand some of the solar uh, kind of grenades that the the acolytes the acolytes throw, but not really gonna keep us alive. So I went to this next section. This is like the first big encounter. There are two, there are a couple of big encounters. We've we done one. This is we've already done one, and that that big encounter was uh, we were to take the 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 wizards down. This is this is the next big encounter coming up. So we're just gonna I want to try and save a bit of ammo. And I'll just just as he was about to go and put his shield up, I managed to get the hit on him. Now I, I take chances like that sometimes just to just to you know keep keep as much ammunition or be as efficient with the ammo as I can. You don't have to take those chances, just take take the night down. <laughs> don't 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 worry about ammo. Uh but as you can see it's it's uh it's not the end of the world if you know he jumps away because you can hit him so this is another big area so what i do as soon as i come in is i activate the first plate now what you'll get when you activate the first plate is you will get eight acolytes and a wizard so we're going to try and take these acolytes because as you can see we're going to take a lot of heat this is where you put your rift down and i'm going to try and keep a bit of special the wizards are really difficult uh, I decided, I, I literally was like, I'm going to keep some special, and I decided, nope, I'm just going to kill the ads. 
Uh, if I've got to use special to take them from range, I will use special. I can dip round the sides and and get a, get get a decent view on the ads without without really uh, aggroing the wizard to the point where I'm going to take a lot of heat. You can see there she's shooting at me, but I'm in a real good spot. Just break this war main sail, and now I'm just going to put some on. She'll go back up top. Now she realizes she's in a bit of danger. And then we'll take this acolyte. There's one more left. Now the way that this area works is, so when you go to activate, so we activated this plate. You see here, I'm going to go back to the center. I come over and activate this plate. I got a wizard who wasn't on the plate. And then I got a couple of sets of acolytes. When you, so that that's kind of the way each plate works. You get a wave of acolytes, although they come more staggered than they do on the first plate. And then you get a champion. So as you'll see here, I've, I've thrown that. We just put a couple on the the barrier just to make sure he goes down. He did go down. Now I'm going to get these thrall. The thrall only come on the first plate. So the other plates work the same, but just in a different kind of rhythm. So this plate, the, the wizard never spawned on the plate. Spawned at the top of the stairs and then we've got a heap of acolytes. The way that the other plates work is when you get close to them, you're gonna you're gonna spot the, the wizard's gonna spawn on the plate with some acolytes. When you go on the plate after a couple of seconds, you're gonna get two acolytes come left and right and a champion. So you'll see what I do. I get on the plate. There's the wizard gone. Make sure all the acolytes are gone. So now we're going to get four more, once we've cleared these acolytes, we're going to get four more acolytes, two from the left, two from the right, after about a second or two of being on the plate. A couple of seconds. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to throw my grenade down there, that takes out those two. And then I'm going to take these two, and I'm going to move to the side of the staircase. I'm going to do that on both sides, so the champion can't hit me. So we'll just break his shield, and then hit him with some heavy. And that's that's all that that's those ads that we killed the the first couple ads with the grenade and then the four acolytes. That's the same sort of ads you get on the first plate. They just they just all come at different times. Whereas the side plates they come like at each time. Two from the left, two from the right, and there'll be some acolytes that spawned with the wizard. So once we capture this plate, we're not going to have any more ads come this side. So then we're going to move over to the other side and do the exact same thing. Charge a grenade, put it on the plate. That'll once you break the wizard shield, it will also do damage to the wizard, but it will kill the acolytes that appear on the plate with her. So, pre-fire, and then I'll get ready to take her shield down. I'll just put a few more on her. Can't see because of the smoke. Just finish her off with my primary. And then I get a war main cell, which if I push up, I can break this. It'll give me any health back that I lost. And it'll take out any free acolyte so you, you can see there now we're going to get the exact same thing we're going to get two acolytes from this side put that down there we're going to get two from here and as you can see i move around the side of the staircase so that the boss can't this champion can't kind of kobe some shots over on my head and then we'll break his shield and there we go that is this section done that's that's the second big section the last kind of, I mean, the lead up to the, the lift is quite extensive, but the lift is the last big, big section before you get to the boss. So another thing that's worthwhile mentioning is try as much as you can, try to monitor your ammunition. Now, it's not a race, you know, and, and to be fair, I'm just trying to use weapons that you don't see as often in Nightfall solo videos. Uh, you could go with stuff like uh, Xenophage, you could go with the Whisper, you could go with uh, Sleeper Simulant, I mean there's a few different weapons you could go with, I'm just trying to use an interesting loadout, and I find that, I don't know, I seem to get more heavy dropping when I'm using a Legendary Heavy than I am an Exotic, but maybe that's just, you know, I have no data to support that, maybe that's just the way it looks to me. So, as I say, the war main cells, they're, they're good for taking out a couple of strays here and there, but it's more so Fireteam Medic, that is what I'm using it for. So I always now come round this way, 
and the champion will run straight away. He's off. But it'll take down a couple of these enemies. Watch out. Something that I didn't didn't notice. So I take the first sniper out. I didn't notice. Uh, now you'll see here what happens here. I get I'm gonna get hit pretty hard in a minute. And I've got kinda have to let him go. Because I didn't realise I was there was gonna be a second sniper. So I've let him go for the sake of staying safe. I'm just gonna put my rift down and then we'll go at him again. Just be wary, you are gonna get a second sniper. So I've dropped that. You can, uh, that's what I was saying earlier on. He will jump out the way of your grenade. And you can you can use that as as a way of getting uh getting him into a position. So running a little bit low and heavy, but that it's it, that isn't that isn't an issue. Not at the moment. Uh so again I haven't got a great deal of health, so I'm gonna go low here and I'm gonna entice the thrall in. As you can see, I, I I'm not going ham on them outside. I want a war main cell as close to me as I can get it. Get my grenade. Back away. And the explosive rounds. I've got explosive rounds on my hand cannon. Obviously timed payload. It's very similar. Uh, just take these last couple of enemies out. And that's why I'm not bothered about the heavy. Because I know. I know. I'm going to drop heavy. So we're going to wait for this champion to come around. We're going to try and take him up here. Now the, the point on there was blocking my shots. The point. That little point up there. So just hit him with some heavy. And then one more shot and he's dead. And I'll just finish these. So it's worthwhile mentioning. I've got the cat list obviously for the the Arianas. The cat list for Arianas and the weapon that I've got on my heavy. Both have auto load and holster on. So that's kind of why I've, I've went with these two in particular. So now I'm j I am just going to burn a bit, a bit of special. Just trying to clear... These snipers, because they can be very problematic. Uh, you can see that guy running up. I'll just, I'll just lead him up and finish him up top. There's one more at the top of the stairs. This champion went ahead. I didn't mind using the special because I knew I had a brick down here. So this champion hid. So I couldn't really go and chase him because, not at the moment, because there's a shrieker there. So I always do the same thing with the Shrieker, this Shrieker, I always push down, push down to this kind of barrier in front of us and I get a rift down there and that kind of helps me. So you can see it, this Shrieker activated really quick. So I went to one of the sides and I can just dip in and out and just finish off this Shrieker from here. And there we go. Now we've got a champion. And as you can see on the screen, we've got a bit of red up to our left. We also have one more acolyte up left. So what I tried to do was throw a grenade round the back and hope that the 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 champion came out. As you can see, I hit him once, twice, and then he wasn't having it. So now took out that 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 ad. We can now go and push the champion yet. Be very careful here, because as you probably know, the champion does a lot of damage. So I'm wanting him to walk around. Now I've actually got to attack him. And he head glitched me. <laughs> that was really... I decided there just to leave him. Reload. Head glitching me. So now we'll just put a couple on him. Break the shield. Hit him with heavy. And I thought... I thought I could have got the finish on him, but I didn't. Luckily, I've got those uh, those perks on, those modify um, mods on that that give me the reactive, the, the heavy finisher, and my health back, so I could take a little bit more of a chance. Just throw my grenade up there, see if I can get anything from it, which I did. You've got a champion up here before you get on the lift. Again, I don't recommend. I don't recommend you being so kind of gung-ho. I felt confident within myself that I could get the kill. So if you don't, don't do that. Entice him out the way I was the first time. 
So now we know we've got a couple of enemies up here because they all backed away and we've got a champion. And we can do to this champion what the last champion done to us. I'm just going to break this shield which does a bit of damage to the boss. And then I'm going to use my heavy again and then get the finisher just to replenish that heavy. And then we're up on the lift. So, the lift, I'm just looking for more special. There's a brick down there. Just, again, ammo, 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 ammo. So I've got full, full heavy, full special. I'm good. Now, the lift. Again, you guys would have seen Cheese's video, same as I did. Uh, and I did watch it. I don't really watch a lot of PvE videos because, well, I do. I make PV, PvE. I watch more PvP, actually, <laughs> and news. But, uh... What you're looking for is the side, there will be a side where the ads won't really be able to do much damage to you. That's the side you're looking for. And the way you can find out which side it is, is these kind of catacombs, these these uh, little cave entrances, not really caves, I don't, I don't really know what's the best thing to call them. Those openings coming up, if they've got like red crust across them, you're not going to get ads from there. So what we're going to do here is throw a grenade in there and then I'm going to throw my super and try and take this champion out quickly, which we managed to do. That was the key to this whole kind of, this area being so successful, was taking out that cap that, that champion quick. And then we've got a war mine cell. Now I'm left with the boss and another champion. So you've got two barriers here. So I'm just going to throw my grenade there and then the champion wants some, so we're going to put him down and there we go it's just us and, the, us and the, the wizard and you can see there there's the wizard and we, we've got we've got some special so I'm gonna use this cover here and just duck in and out and there we go we've left here with almost you know a good bit of special uh, full heavy just looking to see if there's a brick line about and then we're up to the next section. The next section is going to be an unstoppable ogre. And again, with the ogres, the idea is you want to get them to come to you. If you can get them to come to you, it's, everything's a lot easier. And they will when they get close enough to you that you become a threat. So if you don't want to engage an ogre, distance but distance between you and the ogre and as long as you're not an immediate threat the ogre won't hunt you down so as you can see i'm looking see those openings you can see there that, that some of them are blocked up and now i've realized i'm on the wrong side this is the right side and if i go around here we're cool absolutely fine so when we get up here we're going to charge a grenade and we're going to stop the overload and then the unstoppable sorry and then we're going to get out of there we're going to run to the other side so as you can see, I'm charging my grenade. I'm just going to jump up, throw it down, and then I'm going to try and get a stop. And then I'm going to go to the other side. And you'll see exactly what I mean. If you run away and you don't pose an immediate threat, it's like he stands down. So we're going to we're going to get him down. We're going to put some put some heat on him. And then again, because we're far enough away, he won't come after us. It's what I'm going to do now is I want him to come. So I'm going to push up to this next next area. Now because I'm close enough, when he sees me next, he's going to push. See? Now I've aggroed him. So I'll stop him, put one on him, and finish him. And that gives me that gives me a brick of heavy to, to, to come back to. Now, I'm, now what you've got is you've got a wizard on both sides. Let's break this war mine cell, see what we get from it. And you've got ads both sides, so I'm going to throw a grenade there, and I'm going to turn and make sure there's no ads shooting me from behind, which there is. There's actually more ads behind me than there was in front of me. So we just want to make sure that when we're engaging, that we're not actually getting aggroed from behind us each time. So depending, on, it doesn't matter which side you attack. You just want to make sure it's just you and whatever ad or whatever. Uh, wizard you're going after so a little grenade because she'll come back and then we'll break her shield and the grenade will help us so you see I put, I put a heavy shot on her because I know I've got that brick of heavy so I'd, I'd rather not waste tons of special even though I've got special as you can see I'm going to try and avoid it 
because I've got 20, 26 rounds. I can only hold 30. It's worthwhile. Uh, it's worthwhile leaving it until I've, I've, I've done what I need to do here. And then just finish her here. And as you can see, I've got 23 there. I might only get four out of it. I got seven. It gave me full. So if I'd have picked it up before, it would have only given me a couple of shots and then I'd have used some. So if you see ammo, don't go picking it up straight away. Hold off until you actually need to go and get ammo. And that's us going up to the boss. So it took us 29 minutes to get here. Half an hour to get to the boss just about. And the boss, 10 minute fight. So, the boss, so you are going to have Arc Knights, that's why we've got an Arc Weapon on, obviously, and you're going to have Solar Wizards. Now, I was lucky, I don't know if it's something's changed with Beyond Light, but when I used to do this before, one of the Wizards used to come and push. Always used to come and push. This time, they didn't, and that worked in my favour. So, well, again... If you guys have noticed anything, leave it in the comments. Uh, but here's your two wizards here. You need to kill these wizards to actually get the boss to come out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a grenade as close to the middle as I can. And then I'm going to focus on one. Now, see how I'm moving now. Because that will always happen. One of the wizards will push round and take attack you from the other side. So what I'm going to do is just try and save some special but don't get tunnel visioned with the with the the wizards i'm taking my time taking them down because not because i can't take them down faster i'm trying to save ammunition so that's one down and now and as you can, also as you can i'm trying to keep a hold of i'm trying to keep a hold of my uh my, my rift i don't want to have to use my rift just to take these two wizards down so, as soon as we take these wizards down, the boss is going to come out. And because we've got our super, what we're going to do is we're going to put a grenade and a super on the boss. So, there's the other wizard gone. And just looking to see if there's any special around here. Nope. So, I'm going to charge my grenade. And then make sure I'm in the air so I can keep moving. Grenade, super. And then we're going to get into a cover spot. Now, this area is too hairy. It's really too kind of dangerous to be out just wandering about. Be careful when you get here. I'm just going to throw a grenade because I know I'm going to get some thrall coming. Be careful because whereas this used to be a really good place to come and really easy to get into, it's not so easy now. You can very easily slip off the edge. So what you're going to have here is you're going to have... The, this is where you're going to get your arc shielded knights. And... I threw a grenade up there, hoping to get it back. And there's your arc shielded knights. So don't, as you can see, they're they're really close. Uh, I, I should actually put a rift down just because to be attacking while I'm taking this much heat, worthwhile putting a rift down. But uh, because because I've got the head glitch going on. I'll just do another one of these. Break as many of these shields as I can. And then throw a grenade. That should take out at least one of them. Which gives me a little bit of grenade energy back. I'm just taking constant hits. So now I'll just... I've got special there, which is good. And I get my grenade back just about. And I'm still feeling confident. You know, I should have put my rift down, but I felt confident. A lot of these knights here. So, as you can see, he pushed in, and now I'll finish him with Arianas. Finishing him with Arianas, I'm trying to save as much special and heavy as I can. If I've got to use more than I would like, then I've got to use more than I would like. You see there, I put my rift down because the boss came, and she kind of saved this knight from getting absolutely mauled. And I'm, he'll, he'll come back out. They always do it, and that's him dead. And now, one more night, and then it's it's the boss. He'll come back out. They always do it. And now I can come out and kind of move about, see what ammo's lying about. I've got a, a brick of heavy there. Pretty cool. 
Just go back in in case I need to. Which I don't. And now what I'm going to do is try and get the boss's health down to get the next wave of ads out. So just... There we go. It took one shot. Back into a spot to start with. Now, this is where we should be getting wizards. So I'm just looking to see if any ads come so I can charge my grenade. There we go. And we'll just allow that to do some work for us. And hopefully it hits a, lo a few of them. And again, this is something this was new to me as well. Maybe the maybe the the acolytes came down here because the wizards didn't. And I, I was really surprised by that. That the wizards never came down. So I'm just I'm looking for the wizards and when I noticed they were up there I was like, what? So now I just I threw a grenade. But they both ran away, which is which is fine, because I'm not going to need my... It's not fine. I should have hit both of them. <laughs> but it's not it's not the end of the world. So now I'm just going to try and put some... Because they will run away. I'm just trying to save a bit of ammo. You know, I know I've got a heavy brick there. It's really difficult when the boss is, like, doing that with them. It's really difficult. There we go, that's one down. So we've got one left up. I'm coming out just to see what's about, because it's only one one wizard and the boss. The boss is shielded, so the boss won't do anything to us. So we just we can see that I've got special. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something here. You can see I've only got three shots left. And now I've got two special and tons of heavy. We need to get the boss down a bit lower for her to get the next wave of ads out. So what I'm going to do, and it's a risky manoeuvre, just be careful of that. She'll put that thing on the floor that will blast you away. So when you see her do kind of like a slapping motion with her hands, get out of there. So as you can see, I threw my, my super at her, which kind of took her attention off me and managed to get all the special that was below her. And I've got my rift. So we'll just throw a grenade. It's a speculative grenade. As long as it keeps damaging enemies, whether it kills them or not, it gives me back super energy. So now we've got the arc shielded knights again. And this time, they didn't do it last time, but this time they, they chose they chose to uh they chose to put their shield put their kind of barrier shields up more. If they come running at you, that's what you want. And we'll just finish them off with that. We've got another brick of heavy. I'm coming out here to get my heavy and my special. I don't know what's about. I don't know what's out there. So I can get on top here and just have a look. It just looks like some accolades and the boss. So I'm just keeping myself in a place where I can uh, easily get into should I need. So now we, it's, I think it's just us and the boss and two more acolytes. As you see, movement's key, trying to stay moving because you're not getting your health back, obviously. So, you know, I'm not wanting to use because I know I'm going to get those unstoppables. So I'm not wanting to use... Uh, my rift because I'm going to need that for the unstoppables so I'm just going to use a couple of heavy shots charge a grenade throw it right on top of her no I thought it was, I thought I actually fired heavy at her here we just want to get her shielded you see that that stuff as soon as you see that getting getting thrown at you move get out of there because that can blast you into a wall it can, a lot of damage can be done with that and I'm just I'm 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 trying to maneuver her away from my spot to because I want to get there we go. That's exactly what I want. I want her looking at me from there. And then I can just peek around here. And there we go. That's exactly what we want. Now I can get back to my spot. Now we're gonna get some unstoppables. And this this was where my decision to put the reactive pulse 
and this the finisher this is where it really paid off so a couple of acolytes but we it, it it shows up on my my, my screen here that that unstoppable is coming after me so i put my rift down and now unstoppable is just around the corner so again i struggle because of the the kind of head glitchy nature of it and just crouch away he'll come over stop him and if you're here he can't he can't hit you if you if you crouch down you get into the corner you can see there was some explosives there that is where it paid off was was right there the decision to do that paid paid off right there so crouch away just hit him on his arm you won't you won't always be able to see his face and just crouch right in at the corner he won't come round he'll kind of just stand there I've got my rift and just stop him get the rift down and put put a couple of shots that this is really the end of the run now but that reactive pulse it was such a such a good decision to use those because it really helped when I was finishing you see those exploders it re I should have took a lot more damage from those. I just want to get back in here just to assess the situation. And as you can see, I'm getting hit. I can't, I can't really move here. I can't really come out because I'm getting, I'm getting damaged. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump around the other side. So I could jump up over there, but I don't want to take the chance. So what I'm going to do is jump right around here. And what's left is basically a couple of acolytes and an exploder. And then it's us against the boss. And that's going to be the end of the run. So again, the whole point of this is, is, is knowing what's there, knowing what's coming, and being ready for it. And if you've saved your ammo, you should be good. So you want to just make sure that you're, you're good on ammo. You can see I've got full special. And I've got a, a heap of heavy. Now she's available to be to be hit. So we'll put a couple of Arianas on her. And then I'll throw a super. And then back to my Arianas because it's reloaded. And I'm just I backed away from that green stuff. And there you go. A couple of shots and she's dead. And that's the run guys. It's As I say, it's a, this is a long ass. It's a long nightfall. Uh, these weapons worked great. Coupling with the, spe the, the the linear fusion rifle, Ariana's vow is always strong. Uh, it will be double platinum rewards over the weekend. So starting from Friday onwards, it will be double platinum rewards. I didn't get the Ascendant Shard I was looking for, but I did get uh, some really useless exotics. <laughs> but getting the run done, it being efficient enough for a console run, it's a platinum as you can see, and it was flawless uh, as... as I suppose that's the main thing. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. There's more videos to come this week, so I hope you keep che checking the channel out. If you haven't already, put your notifications on so you don't miss, and leave a like if you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.